I wanna be with you for all eternity. 
Dear friends, may God, the author of life and love, fill our hearts with the joy today. And may we be in our worship and our praise joyful. As a community of family and friends, we gather today as brothers and sisters in Christ, here in God's presence, to witness the marriage of Allison Van der Leeuwen and Randy McEachran under the blessing of God. And would the wedding party please be seated? And you may all be seated. Feels better already, right? Let us bow our heads in prayer. Creator and lover of us all, you have made us in your image, and you have made the world to be our home. You give us love and courage and joy and faithfulness and hope and comfort, justice and worship. And rejoice in the love of these, our friends. We pray in the spirit of the Creator. Amen. Now, just in case anybody else missed it, I want you all to know that these two cheated already. They kissed when they got down here. They thought I didn't see that, but I did. So cut it out. The covenant of two people to a life together is a time to celebrate with good wishes and feasting and joy. Jesus shared just such an event in Galilee, where, in turning water into wine, Jesus gave us a sign of new beginnings. While well, we're gathered here in the presence of God to witness the exchange of vows between Randy and Allison, and ask God to bless them. God created us to be in relationship with one another and with all of creation. And today we celebrate the mysterious intimacy of the love between two people. We affirm the joy and the freedom of a lifelong union. We rejoice in the healing and the new life that we know in the midst of our frailties and failures will continue. Trusting in the Creator's promise to be with us, may our hearts be open to one another in faithfulness and hope. These two people have come here this afternoon to become one in holy union. But if anyone here this morning, this afternoon, can show just cause why they may not lawfully marry, I charge you before God to declare it now. <laughs> you made it. First term of over. I should now like to invite your mother, Sheila McEachran to lead us in the first reading this afternoon, which is taken from St. Paul's Epistle to the Galatians. St. Paul's, Paul's Epistle to the Galatians, 3, 12, 16. God loves you and has chosen you as his own special people. So be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. Put up with each other and forgive anyone who does you wrong, just as Christ has forgiven you. Love is more important than anything, anything else. It's what ties everything completely together. Each one of you is part of the body of Christ, and you were chosen to live together in peace. So let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts. And be grateful. Let the message about Christ completely fill your lives. Let it use all your wisdom to teach and instruct each other. You will set your thankful hearts, sing songs, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. Whatever you say or do, Thank you, Shannon. And the first of the songs for this afternoon, Set Me in Like a Seal. <laughs>
Remember to nourish each other, though, with words of encouragement, trust, and love. This is needed on a daily basis so that each of you can grow and reach your fullest potential, just like this little tree. So, shall we return to the front? Some of your rooms are getting lonely. <laughs> Well, we did that like we almost knew what we were doing, man. Eh? Yeah. My golly, we're court learners. You're allowed to laugh. I went through the training earlier, but it didn't seem to have been. Tough crowd. Ah, this is, this is the tough one for you two, okay? Allison and Randy, you've made it known that you wish to be joined in Christian marriage. And absolutely no one has shown any reason why you may not. However, if either of you know of any lawful impediment why you shouldn't be married, I charge you now before God, the seeker of all hearts, to so declare it. This is the one question in life I never want to hear an answer to. <laughs> Randy and Allison, you stand in the presence of God and of your families and of your friends to make a covenant with each other. A covenant grounded in mutual respect and in shared power, in compassion and in trust. Will you, Randy, love Allison with integrity and gentleness, speaking openly, openly and listening <coughs> patiently? Will you protect and comfort her and challenge her and cherish what is holy in her? If you will, would you please answer me saying, I will. Allison. Will you love Randy with integrity and gentleness, speaking openly and listening patiently? And that may be hard. Will you protect and comfort and challenge him, cherishing all that is holy in him? If you will, will you please answer me saying, I will. They both agree. Who would have thunk? Let's bow our heads in prayer. Loving Creator, Source of all love, bless both Randy and Allison as they now pledge their lives to each other. With the faith in you and with the faith in each other, may they always cherish the power of love we witness today. May their love continue to grow and may it be a true reflection of your ever-present love for all of us. A love which renews us for your service in this world. Amen. Randy, would you take Allison by the right hand and repeat those vows to her? <laughs> Did you want to time up?
you lifted me up to a place that I forgot existed. Your faith in me, your encouragement, brought me back to me. You are my person, my other half, my one true love. I can't imagine my life without you by my side. You will be so much more than my husband. You are my very best friend. You know me, all of me, and accept every part of who I am. When I look at you, I feel home. Uh, this commitment I make before God, I do not take lightly. It's my faith in Him and my love for you that the rest of this point. Randy, I promise to always be faithful to you. I promise to hold your hand and tell you everything. I promise to die and love your children as I would my own. I promise to let you be the man.
And for this, we sincerely thank you. We ask your blessing again on these two as they begin their lives together. Amen. <coughs> Would you come and join in signing the question?
anything, could I ask the Wedding Party to join us on your side? May the grace of Christ attend you both, and the love of God surround you both, and the Holy Spirit keep you both now and forevermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> this is sweet grass. It is a measure of a blessing. And when tied in a circle, of a continuous blessing. And I hope you'll find a place in your home that it may helping. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I have the pleasure and the honor of introducing you to Mr. and Mrs. Randy and Allison Kerr. 